Hi, I'm Casey Finn, and today I'm discussing this, which is my dystopian, ultra diverse YA thriller novel, Legion Lost. Uh, this is a genre bending book that was published by Amazon's own in house company, which is Kindle Press, a few years ago. Uh, it's won me a few awards, and it was one of the most inspired books that I wrote and I wrote it very quickly because I was very excited about it so I thought this would be a great opportunity to share those inspirations with you. So the storyline has a girl who lives in a dystopian society and she's been hiding underground um, but when soldiers come to raid the underground community that she lives in she has to go above ground for the first time. She discovers a place called the Legion where teenagers can seek solace and um, erase their identity in service of the wider government. So whatever transgressions they have in the past, they can escape from. Now this sounds ideal, but because she knows that the soldiers who raided her previous underground home are going to be looking for a female runaway, she decides to shift her gender and pretend to be a boy when she joins the Legion. And of course, from there, many, many complications ensue. So. The inspiration behind Legion Lost, some of it came from um, ideas of gender and relationship dynamics, which were frustrating things that I'd explored in other literature. So, for example, I've always been really annoyed by the end of Twelfth Night. Uh, for those of you who are familiar, Viola, who pretends to be a boy throughout the entire Shakespeare play, um, Right at the end, she reveals to Orsino, who is already in love with her, whether she's male or female, that she's a woman. And he says, oh, thank goodness. Why should it be thank goodness? You know, so I was I was always frustrated by that um, idea that uh, gender mattered in um, in relationship to love. So I wanted to create something that had um, more of the tension and the fluidity in gender and sexuality of young people which of course is something that is ever expanding and much more acceptable today. I also enjoyed with this particular book reworking a historical concept, which was that of the French Foreign Legion, which um, the book is named for that particular inspiration of a place where people who have no hope or no prospects or have a past that they may wish to uh, erase can go. So based on that, my advice for new writers who are looking for inspiration would certainly be to read other stories with a critical eye. You can see what developments, adaptations and changes you could make. Um, if there's anything in there that's sort of out of date or frustrates you in some way and um, see what improvements you can make to it. Because, you know, there are no 100 percent original stories. We're all going to get ideas from reading each other's stuff and making new adaptations and spins on that. The second point I would make um, as a means to find inspiration would be pay attention to your history books. You know, go through and look for parallels, concepts and systems which you could make your own updated versions of. Um, for me, creating the Legion was this fantastic opportunity to explore ideas of dystopia, authoritarian control, military presence, and do it all in this really um, cool, almost kind of boarding school setting uh, for these teenagers, these young soldiers um, who get to uh, mix with different people and everybody has their own secret to keep. So yeah, definitely keep an eye on your history for uh, undiscovered gems that you could make magic with for your own.